John chapter 16 and Proverbs chapter 7. In John chapter 16, I love how John, speaking for the disciples, just admits how befuddled, how confused. Jesus was so overwhelmed. I want to read to you verses 17 and 18. Some of his disciples said to one another, what does he mean by saying, in a little while you will see me no more, then after a little while you will see me, and because I am going to the Father? They kept asking, what does he mean by a little while? We don't understand what he is saying. I love that. I love the, the overwhelmed. I love the, oh yeah, I can't take, I can't follow, I'm so confused. I mean, Jesus' disciples must have been constantly overwhelmed. I mean, the miracles the love, the teaching, and then he would say things in parables and, and you never knew if he was speaking directly or allegorically, and so they were just constantly confused. And, and in my life, um, in my 60s now, if there was one teaching that I wish that someone had I'd heard more of in my 20s is that things will be revealed in their proper time. If there's some things you won't understand until you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And scripture is actually so strong on that. In the life of David, the life of Moses, Daniel, some things Daniel didn't understand until he was almost 90 years old. And so this here, Jesus says, look, you're not going to understand this until after I've raised from the dead. Some ways you won't understand it until after Pentecost. Some ways you won't understand some of it until after you've served me and you've been suffered for me as Christians. And so uh, they, were, they weren't supposed to understand at this point, and that would have helped me so much as a young man. So I identify, I smile, I chuckle, I kind of enjoy vicariously that uh, it's a normal thing to be overwhelmed as a young man. It's a normal thing to be confused, and it's a good thing to know that you, that there are some things that God plans for you to not understand till decades later. Now let's go to Proverbs, and in Proverbs chapter 7, Proverbs chapter 7 is uh, one of the most single-themed chapters in all of Proverbs, all about this uh, foolish man who gets seduced. And I want to zero in on verse 22 in three words. It says, all at once. And it's almost a joke, all at once, because it gives from verses 6 to 21 all of these foolish little steps that he was doing to stick his head in the noose, all these Foolish little steps. It's like someone who um, has walked into a swimming pool of, of dangerous water and he's into his toes and his ankles and then he's up to his thighs and he's up to his waist and then up at his waist. All of a sudden, it says all at once he dove in the water. Well, he didn't dive in the water from the side of the pool. He dove in the water walking deeper and deeper and deeper into the water and then all at once he dove underwater, but he was already pretty far in the water. The reason that's important is because when I've seen affairs, when I've seen porn or perversion or drugs or just e extremely evil acts by people, in every case you can look that for years they were inching further and further and further and then all at once they dove into a level of depth of depravity and evil having inched further into it. The Word of God is, is pretty graphic in the way it explains the etymology or the depravity pattern as it grows in your life. So thank God for the word of God. It awakens us, it lets us see ourselves, lets us see other people, lets us understand that things happen all at once, even though they've been building for years. Let the word of God do the opposite for us. Let the all at once blessings happen that have been building through us, growing closer to Christ for years. And someone say amen. Have a great day. God bless you.